Welcome back to another video. I bet you didn't think we'd be in a gents toilets today to start this video, but we are. Because we filmed the eBay video yesterday, uh, today, sorry. And I thought on the way home, why not hit the charity shops in the local area? Get another video out of it. So that's what we're gonna do, we're in Brig. There's about four here. Let's go get some bargains. Let's go. Got the champ with us today, aren't we? Are you coming? This way. Going the wrong way, amazing to slip on them. Well, the first one's closed. Second one looks like it's closed. Third one is a shithole. Let's go. It's gonna be a rough start to the day. 20 quid. We have made a purchase under the till. This e-reader, uh, 10 quid. Looking about 30 to 50, depending on condition and gigabytes. So, no fees now, easy money. What are you carrying cars everywhere you go? Easy. It looks like a ghost town here. Yeah. It's now on. Let's see. Oh, we Red Cross sale items now a pound. Mm. Well, uh, how much did I do? Four fifty. What? Why are they? Um, no, nothing. Asos. What are they? Ten quid. Is that good? Size, seven and a half. Not brand new, are they? No, we're going home in three. Can you get with me? Next, I'm going to signal on my phone to search up near the... Uh, shoes and that so I might have made a mistake there but it is what it is. <laughs> Come on Tyler, that laugh of mental. Come on. Yeah. Anybody want a Star Wars suit please? Some tonight. 40 quid. I can't get it open. Can't get it open off. Dope. 30 quid though. Is it worth 30 quid? Oh, 30 quid. Oh, I don't know. Can we get out of the crew set? Searching it up. Just the thing is worth his money back. Looks like a Halloween special in here. I've got two pairs of trainers in there. One's a size 13, it says three quid. There's no make on them. I think they're like knockoff ones, but you can sell them as like gym shoes on vintage for a tenner. So just really needed some stuff stuff to list. So hopefully you're gonna get three of them the crew sets as well. Let's see how much they're all worth. But 30 quid, I know it's expensive, but the first the crew set thing with no fees now on eBay should make the whole money back. Right back home. I want to shout out to pretty much my boxing coachy trainer person now Matty went all the way to Spain and brought me this back Barcelona Prime for the collection what a guy right back home let's run through what we've picked up so we picked up these off camera because uh, I said there was a size 12 to 13 so I thought I'll try them I think they're like 3 quid so, oh, it says size 13 3 quid and I'm a size 12 to 13 these are a bit too tight but Stuff it, so I might use them for like scruffs or the gym or something like that. I'll sell them on vineyard. Caramars, we paid four quid, I think, for his Q4 now on eBay, so size 9.5, no fees, 15 quid. Happy days. Picked up this thing for a tenner. I think I made a mistake though, because I ain't got a charger wire and I don't think it works. So that could be really bad. But we'll test that a bit later and hopefully it does work. And the last and most expensive item, $29.99. These four La Cruz set little dish things. Best thing about these, she wraps them in a lot of oil. So it's literally just gonna be a free stack of bubble wrap, which I'll probably need today. Got this little one here, little purpley one. 
big hole mark on the bottom. These speak over there, big hole mark on the bottom. This next one, which is taped to the bore up as well. Again, free bubble wrap. This one is the same as the other one, but like a darker purple. I think it's for a cake. I think you put cakes in. So that's them two so far. This one's a nice one. I think this one will be worth something because of the colour. Nice little pinky one. Again, crew set on the top and the bottom. But this is the one that caught my eye. And to be fair, it's the only one I actually looked up. And it does, it's supposed to come with a spoon. Obviously, they, they list on the charity shop, they had it out without a spoon. So that's that one. A little cake holder, maybe. Or whatever you put in there. Beautiful. But on its own, some of them have sold for like 50 odd quid, obviously, with a spoon and gone abroad. So I think $29.99 for that. So that's all the money back. And then 15 quid on each one of these. So then it'll be a 45 quid profit. Just over double maybe. Better than a kick in the teeth and I need something to list tonight, so yeah. For the 30 quid we've got in the four wrap classes a year. One parcel. Right, the video is not long enough, so I thought I'd come in here because I've got orders to pick from today uh, and tell you something else as well, so might as well do that. First thing I need to tell you, you should probably don't even care about it anyway, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, when I, the day I come back off holiday, the next day I shipped all the orders out, right? And there was a guy hammering me for the Fuji camera. It was an orange one I sold for like 35 quid. Worth over 100 quid if you have the charger, so he got a cracking deal anyway. Claimed it hasn't been shipped, hasn't been scanned, whatever else, whatever else. So I clicked on the tracking and it's nothing even there. It doesn't say it's been dispatched, doesn't say it's been collected anywhere or it's on transit. So Royal Mail have mugged me off again. So that's gonna have to be a 35 quid return. So I'm gonna do the orders and when I do, go to the post office, see what they say. See if there's anything I can do. Because I've never like, like um, what do you call it? Claimed an item missing back, if that makes sense. Or I opened up a case like Royal Mail, or I just some most of the time just go, oh fuck it, just get on with it. So I sort of need to look into. 35 quid, it's just refunded, it's nothing, is it? But beside the point, the camera cost me a five, a postage, and just ugh. But here's what it is. Let's get some orders picked. Just double check them. Only got eBay sales, nine of them. With the fees for free. Thank you. Let's get the flash on. First sale for £20 is this Harry Potter thing going global shipping. All the way to Le France. So hopefully Le France means Le Crusade. What was that in the garden? That's awesome one then. Yeah, 20 quid for that. Paid, I think, a fiver. It owes me. No fees. Happy days. Right, so what else is sold? We sold a pair of headphones. I got I think I ended up with ten of these for 15 quid. And that sold for a tenner. I've got I've sold loads more of them, so it don't owe me anything now, but Got this iPod, I think I paid five or 10 quid for it. And it didn't work, so I took the risk, didn't work. Sold it for a tenner anyway. So without the fees, I just got my money back. Um, an ink, I need to double check how much this went for, but I paid, it was two pound for the color one the other day. This thing, this one cost me a quid. Yeah, this shit I know, it's cost me a quid and it sold for 14.95. Happy days. We got a, I think I paid 30 quid for this one. Uh, without any games so a bit of a fail because back then I was seeing the camera on it seeing it all working I thought worth a bit it is all working so can't complain about that so I got a DS all these games chucked in a spare case you can see me now a spare case and the battery charger which I don't think that is the right charger that's not good is it I don't think it's the right charger, it's not good at all. I ain't got a spare one either. But yeah, I saw it like that anyway, but I'm gonna have to mess with them. That went for 50 quid, so about 15 quid to game for the Omi a fiver. Lord of the Rings figure, little bit of alerts. Someone smashed it, someone's outside. Little bit of alerts, and he went for a tenner. Two little Lego figures, they went for a tenner. They don't owe me anything. Lurch don't owe me anything either. I've got a bundle of the ring stuff. I sold most of the good ones. These are just loads hanging around. 
So he's 10 quid for free. These also don't know me out. I paid 20 quid for a huge bundle of Lego Dimensions, if you remember in a previous video. Uh, and the Sonic in the car sold for 39.99 out of it. So these owe me nothing. I got a tenner. Paid two pound at a boot sale for Wii Party. 16.95 plus the shipping. Don't sleep on Wii Party. Then I believe I paid a fiver for this and it sold for 14.95. So that's it. And now all this has to be wrapped and sent out. Oh, another thing. I mention all the time these i know you only get like three for 70p at home bargains but if you sell something strong enough you're not worrying about 70p or 20p whatever it costs it's like you're selling 40.95 cost you a quid this is how easy it is just drop that in there and if it's too small let's put a crease in it there fold it back over itself pull the little tab off probably sick of me doing this but Hold that over like so, and like I always say, I always put extra tape on just to make sure. Bit of tape, lay it on, squish it down, and obviously, I need to write on it what was it, ink on it, something like that. And that is a perfect little parcel. No bubble wrap, no bags, just like that, simple. Done. Now I just need to put some labels on and get them sent. Weather outside is looking crap. I think it's rained for like 48 hours straight. It's like literally not stopped at all. So there'll be no car boot video Wednesday. We was going to go to this hall one, me and Daz, but... <sighs> now what? Always happens. You just get everything wrapped. Then it tells you another sale has just come through for 29.95 plus shipping for this thing. Thing cost me like seven or eight quid. Happy days. I believe I shoved it in here. There is. It was in there somewhere. Yeah, it says ten on it, but I paid like eight, I think. Nice twenty quid profit. Need to get that off. Let's go to these sent and speak to that lady at Royal Mail. Say what is going on. I know what they're going to do. They're going to say, "Oh, it's, you got the receipt." And I have to dig it out, and if I can't find, it, I just have to refund the guy. But I've got a tracking number on eBay actually, so they might be able to help me. They're not going to, but we'll give a try. I'll let you know. A bit dark in here now, but I'm getting a lot of comments on that previous video I uploaded today about the uh, eBay fees. Haters are going to hate, and I'm just going to keep rocking, keep rolling. And just remember, I always say when I started this, never pay eBay more than you should, as in, don't open a business account. Like Richard said, if you open a shop somewhere, and only sold five items at your shop every day. You're not a business, are you? You're an idiot. But either way, moving on, just listed all these. The woman at the post office said, there's not much I can do, so I just refunded the guy 35 quid. He'll probably end up getting the camera anyway. It is what it is. So yeah. On that note, guys, I am off. I need to put all this stuff away, so make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. It's a bit dark in there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Get it. Yes, yeah.